Hey everyone, um, so today we're going to play, start playing a game that I really enjoy um, called Grim Fandango. It's, I guess, an RPG point and click adventure kind of game. Um, one of the benefits about this in comparison to some of the other games I've been doing recently is that I don't have to voice the characters. So, but it has a great storyline in my opinion, um, and it also has some pretty fantastic music. So, without further ado, Grim Fandango. And we're loading. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. Just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Well. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Poor Manny. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Oh, look, we got mail. Now, after that lovely intro scene, we actually get to start playing. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Iffy. This might be our chance to get out of it. Who knows? Not portable. Might as well My look at the computer. Gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. <laughs> database of uh, it, nice deadbeats because they're dead. Wow. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. 
Ooh, Domino Hurley. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Seems like someone's got a rival. What are these? It's a deck of cards. Might as well pick them up. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. It's not a long day of solitaire if you actually go to your... Um, go to that thing he was talking about. Goodness. Put it away in my inventory here. This lovely little suit jacket is my inventory. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. It's because he believes in you, Manny. He believes that you can be a better salesperson. That's totally the reason. Alright, let's go out to this lovely hallway here. The game does not automatically save. Thank you very much. Speaking of which... We just went through a huge cutscene, so it is probably in my best interest to save. Let's go talk to the secretary here. Sounds like a good plan. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Let's just be clueless. What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Oh, man, you gotta love this. Manny just can't get anything through his head. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? She sounded a bit worried there for a second. Something you want to tell me, Ava? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, that's, that's, you know, Well, I gotta encouraging. go the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Yes, um, because I was totally not speaking metaphorically in any way, shape, or form. Let's go down this elevator. And there went a car. But I want to leave too! Let me go... Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Well then. Let's look at this thing. See what we have here. Once we, you know, there walk all the way around. For wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. So you can either get a car wash or go to the land of the living. Yep, sounds like a great system. Make everything in the same, you know, little container. Wash my car and then I'll go to the land of the living. It'll be great. It'll be a party. I'm not going to accidentally press the wrong button at all because that's just crazy. I wonder if my driver is back in the shack here. Like, that seems a little stupid, but I wonder if he is. Hey, service! Hey, who's there? Wow. 
Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Wow. Okay. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home. Oh, no. Yeah, wasn't that nice? Oh, boy. We don't have a driver. So we can't go to the poisoning. And Dominic's just going to steal everything. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Well then, someone's interested in driving, and I need a Looks driver. Like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Thank you, Gladys. You're you're so so helpful. I guess I have to try this again. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh no! Sorry, can't rules. Oh, come on. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Well, then. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. I love how Gladys's ears just kind of twitch around like crazy when he has an idea. So, you know, anytime he has an idea, his his um, ears just go crazy wild. All right, so it looks like now we got to go get a signature on this work order thing. So I guess might as well go try talking to the boss. See if we can't get some sort of signature. So that we can finally get out to this poisoning. Because, you know, Domino Hurley decided that no, Manny Calavera can't go to the poisoning. Totally can't. So I guess let's let's go see the boss. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Oh, really? So I, I can't just walk in? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Uh, maybe I can talk to Ava about it. Ava, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. <laughs> I actually am. I'm trying to go to the poisoning. But thanks for your concern. All right. Um, Might as well try Domino's office. Domino's door is locked. Okay. I'm probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. So Domino's not here. Um, I guess the only thing we haven't tried yet, aside from, you know, using items, which we've got our scythe. Uh, that looks like the work order. It's some sort of special work order. Okay. Um, the cards. Deck of cards. This spe a specific card. 
And that looks like the memo about the poisoning. I've got to get this work order signed. No, that's the work order. This is the memo about the poisoning. Okay. So. Um, short of anything there, I guess we'll go here and descend in the elevator that we haven't tried. So this is new territory. Haven't been here yet. Wonder what's this way. It's locked. Oh, but I like it when the doors are unlocked. You go this way too. Is this one locked as well? It's locked. Yeah, that one's also locked. Fine, fine. But I can go out these big, gigantic doors, so I might as well do that. And oh, look, it's the steps. It's a car. Move faster. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? I don't know, Manny. When did you lose your edge, you poor soul? Literally, because he's, he's a soul in the land of the dead. Get it? Okay, I'm, I'm done with that. Um, okay. Well, guess we need to find out how to get a driver, because we need to get that work order signed. So we'll do that next time.